What is going on guys, Satsuki the Savage here and today I'm going to be looking at what I'm going to be watching for the 2020 winter season, alright? Whole new decade, so let's see what they have to offer. Now off rip, I'm probably going to be watching a lot less anime for the winter season because this season absolutely killed me. I'm still recovering, alright? Because I decided to watch like 10 anime and it has not been working out well. So winter season, I'm probably going to end up watching maybe four anime max and that's maximum all right it's probably going to end up being like two or three but yeah let's see what we got all right so probably the hottest commodity of the winter 2020 season is high q the fourth season of course i don't watch high q so i'm not going to watch this but again this is probably going to be the best anime of that season next up we have the second season of quintessential quintuplets and i definitely will be watching this because i enjoyed the first season although i do like the manga better just for the art because i do think the anime's art is a little lackluster in comparison but there are some things in anime you can't get like the voice acting the music etc etc animation whatever so i will be watching the second season but if you are an anime only for quintessential quintuplets stay wary of spoilers all right because the bride is sort of being revealed so if you are an anime only be careful tread lightly that's all i will say next up the bat is puella magi madoka magic a side story magi record all right and the synopsis is as follows. The new heroine of my gear record is Aroha, a magical girl on the hunt for a missing sister, Ui and Kamihama. Also on Kamihama is Madoka, who is searching for the seemingly missing Homura. All right. Now, with this, it's supposed to be some side story to Madoka Magica, which doesn't really interest me that much, but I will check it out. And I'm also doing a video on Madoka Magica, like, very soon. Like, by the time I put this video out, it'll probably be out in the next day or maybe two days i'm not really sure but it's going to be within the same week all right so be on the lookout for that but this kind of worries me because i don't really like when you conclude a series very well and then you just try to milk it out for more biggest example dragon ball super even though that's more of a sequel but we're going to check this out just to see how good it is all right because i got good faith in my doka magica but we'll see we'll see Next up, I'm seeing Isekai Quartet have a second season, and I did watch the first season, but I have actually heard good things from the first season, which very much surprised me. So maybe I'll check out the first season and get to the second season. I'm not entirely sure yet. I just got to see how long these episodes are and, you know, how the first season hits for me. But with the second season, supposedly the S.H.I.E.L.D. hero characters are supposed to appear with this season, all right? Which... I definitely want to see because I want to see mine. I want to see mine and Aqua interact. I would love to see something like that. So I'm definitely interested in Isekai Quartet second season. The next anime we have is an anime called Pet. And the synopsis is there are people who can get into people's minds and control their memories. This power is used to eradicate mysteries and cases or worse to assassinate. The potential of said power is strong enough that it's able to destroy people's minds. However, it can backfire and eat up one's heart. To counter it, chains are used to lock and protect each other's weak and dangerous hearts. From one's growing fear and disdain, they're consequently called as a pet. All right. I didn't really get that synopsis, but I'm looking at the designs. The designs look sort of mid, all right? So I'm going to see if this has any, like, light novel or manga to see if it's any good. All right, so Pet does have a manga, and it is not rated good. It is sitting at a 6.29 on my anime list. So this is not getting watched. We are good. So the next anime I have is an anime called Heya Camp. And for some reason, there is no synopsis showing up on my anime list. All right. I don't know if it's my tablet or what, but no synopsis whatsoever. So I can't really read what it's about. But it looks like the characters have a lot of favorites from other people. So this has to be adapted from a light novel, manga, whatever. So I'll see how that's viewed. All right, so I'm looking at it right now, and Hey Camp might be some alternative story or side story to this anime called Yuru Camp, which I've never seen, but it's rated high, sitting at an 8.31, so that's pretty good. I'm not reading the synopsis since it's for a whole entire different series. I'm just chalk it up as it's a slice of life, 
And since I haven't seen this, I'm probably not going to check out Hey Camp. The next anime we have is an anime called Plunderer, and the synopsis is as follows. In a post-apocalyptic world dominated by the so-called numbers, each human will have their identity branded with their own count, which could define any number related to their life. May it be one's walk distance or the amount of compliments given to them by others. This count could lead them to the abyss when it has dropped to zero. In the year 305, in the Alakin calendar, Hina has inherited a mission from her mother, whose count has deprecated to zero, to search for the legendary Red Baron? <laughs> Red Baron? Like the pizza, nigga? What? Red Baron, nigga? Nigga, that's a pizza, bro. I eat that shit all the time. The brick oven Red Baron? Man, you already know, man. I'll fuck, I'll fuck that legendary Red Baron up. In her adventure, she meets a half-mad swordsman called Lich, who tries to hide his identity. They be repetitive. He, he's half-mad, so of course he's trying... Whatever. As he is known as a degenerate for having an incredibly low count. Okay. So, uh, sounds kind of mid. Looking at the character designs. Character designs look pretty cool. Huh. Yeah, probably not going to watch it. If I had more time, I'd probably give the first episode a try. But ah, I'm not trying to watch a lot of anime, so yeah, it's getting skipped. The next anime we have is an anime called Somali and the Four Spears. And the synopsis is, the world is ruled by spears, goblins, and all manner of strange creatures. Human beings are persecuted to the point of extinction. One day, a golem and a lone human girl meet. Here we go with this weird shit. This is a record of the pair, one a member of the ruined race, the other a watchman of the forest. It tells of their travels together and a bond between father and daughter. Huh. Oh, so they, okay. That's different. Okay. That that sounds interesting. I thought it was going to be a lo another, like, love story or something, but father and daughter, you know, traveling, eh, that's different. That's different. Mm. It sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. I may get the first episode a try. Maybe. The next anime is an anime called Number 24. And I'm not going to read the synopsis just because I know it's about rugby. And I will check out the first episode at the very least of this anime. Because I haven't watched a lot of sports anime. So I want to expand my horizons to other genre of anime. So I will check out this. I'm not even a rugby fan. It's just that, again, I want to try something different. So... This is something I probably will check out. Next up is an anime called 22-7. And this is an idol anime. And the synopsis is very simple. It literally just says, TV anime series for idol group 22-7. Slated for January 2020. That's all. So maybe this 22-7 is a real group. And they are making an anime about this group. Of course, I don't fucking know. I'm not Japanese, alright? So... I don't know. It's an idol anime, and I like Love Live, so maybe I'll check it out, but... Hey, I, don't, I literally just don't know. I don't know. The next anime I have is an anime called Darwin's Game, and that name already is intriguing me, but the synopsis is... An unknowing pseudo Kaname is invited to try out a new mysterious mobile app game called Darwin's Game. Not no fucking Isekai but later realizes that he's in for more than he bargained for when he finds out that there's no way to quit the game. All right, so maybe it's not in the Sekai, but anytime I hear, oh, this nigga is on his phone, and oh, shit, everything's fucked up, I'm already like, oh, no. Don't tell me this nigga's going to go to another world, and no, I'm tired of the Sekai, all right? This is different, but sounds like another survival game shit and you know that kind of reminds me of king's game which i've never watched but i did watch like the last episode with a homie and that shit was terrible so darwin's game let me see let me look at the characters real quick characters don't look like they hitting we gonna give it one try one episode one episode if it don't catch me in one episode we done with it all right now for the last anime we have duro hey doro all right now this is an anime i've heard about the manga people have read it in, in the discord that i'm in and they have high praise for it all right so um oh shit yeah i'm not reading the synopsis no 
we are no i'm not reading the synopsis let's just say i'm gonna check it out just from the faith of other people all right so no synopsis but yeah that is pretty much all i want to read there may be some more sleeper animes that people may you know tell me about or that may catch my attention once winter season actually rolls around but for now that's that's looking like the anime i'm probably going to check out but guys that is pretty much it for this video let me know what you will be watching for the winter 2020 season will you just take this season off because honestly it's not looking that great all right i think spring is going to be much better especially especially if we have ray zero my teen romantic comedy snafu kaguya sama fruits basket and these are not confirmed except for uh uh, my romantic teen comedy snafu but i'm just saying if we have all those anime in the spring season that shit is going to be stacked all right but that's just my you know hope all right but guys that is it for the video like comment subscribe satsuki the savage out i realized desire and trembling in the anger The bills do fuck, the bills do fuck, the bills do fuck, the bills do fuck, my baby mama tripping, I don't give a fuck, my baby mama tripping, I don't give a fuck, niggas talking shit, you gon' get fucked up, niggas talking shit, you gon' get fucked up, fuck it with me, you gon' get fucked up, fuck it with me, you gon' get fucked up, fuck, fuck, fuck nigga. Am I dying to live or am I living to die? Living a lie with my hands stressed out. See, I'm stressed about being the best out.